Only the seal of quality certifies that this is truly an original Black Forest cuckoo clock. Remove the back of the clock's case to make adjustments on the clockwork. If the music of the music box does not stop playing automatically after the call of the cuckoo, but continues to play, there is a problem with a bent brass lever that cannot grip the hole on the side of the waltz correctly, which would stop the music. Use a caliper to bend the brass lever so that it can grip the hole and therefore stop the music. Is the release force on the brass lever too large? Then the clockwork cannot start the music. There's a white rubber stopper on the lever, which should then be pushed approximately 130 seconds of an inch downwards. If the end of the wire, which grips into the fan fly, is bent, there are three possible impacts. The wire does not release the fan fly after the cuckoo calls. The music is not activated. The wire touches the fan fly and a chattering sound is the impact. The wire does not hold the fan fly. The music plays at the same time as the cuckoo calls. The wire should then be bent into a position where it does not touch the fan fly while inactive but prevents the music box of turning before and while the cuckoo is calling. If the music does not play at all after the call of the cuckoo, then maybe the double wire is loose, which means not attached to the arbor on the clockwork correctly. Tighten the attachment screw on the arbor. If the music is still not playing after the call of the cuckoo, then the releasing wire above the music box may be bent. Bend this wire until it is just over the brass lever while inactive. 